to you by thesis123.com. I learn and teach online. Here is our next question, number 20. Find the transformer ratios A and B such that the impedance Z in is resistive and equals 2.5 ohms when the network is excited with a sine wave voltage of angular frequency of 5000 rad radians per second. Okay, so we have a figure given to us and we see that we have two transformer ratios. On one end we have 1 is to B, on the other end we have 1 is to A. Now we have to try to convert this entire figure into one equivalent circuit. So we'll do that step by step. Okay, so we will start from the very end on the right side here. Let's assume that the part on the left is the primary side and the part on the right is the secondary side. Okay, so if we consider this portion right here, just this portion. R is on the secondary side and this side here is the primary side. Okay, so the first step is to write the resistance R or shift the resistance from R from the secondary to the primary side. That's the first step. Shift R from secondary side to primary side. So what happens here is R becomes or turns to R by A square. The ratio here is A square. 1 by A, right? So it's R by A square. It's R by K square. That's the ratio, okay, which is written here in terms of the ratio given R by A square. Now, if we draw the circuit, this is what we are going to have now. The capacitance, that's the first part, primary. This is the secondary. Here we have the inductance. And now we have brought this here R by A square. I hope that makes sense. So here we have C, here we have L, and this is Z in. Now we have resolved the entire um, figure and brought it down to a smaller, to a smaller figure. Now we have to convert the entire thing into a more equivalent circuit. So let's do that next. Next, let's shift the inductance here L from the secondary side to the primary side. Okay, we are going to do that next. Inductance L from secondary side to primary side. Now what do we have? L becomes L by B square. Why? If you notice, just as we did in the previous part here, take a look at this portion. If you take a look at this portion here, you will see that L, which is on the secondary side, if it has to be shifted to the primary, we use the same ratio here, which is L by K square. So K square in this case would be B square. So L by B square when it is shifted from the secondary to the primary. Okay. Now, I am going to draw the equivalent circuit of just one set of uh, ratios. This is our capacitance. Now we have shifted L from the secondary to the primary, okay? Here is our primary winding. 
and we still have the resistance here r by a square this is l by b square this is c this is z in and the ratio here is 1 is to b okay so now we have to figure out what the value of a is and what the value of b is let's start with b since here we have the ratio of 1 is to b okay now what is the rule for reactances in an equivalent circuit you should know that xc must be equal to xl this is an important relation when we are calculating in terms of an equivalent circuit the capacitive reactance must be equal to the inductive reactance so what's xc 1 divided by omega c and xl is in this case omega l by b square xl is omega l but here l is l by b square so we substitute that here and we get it as omega l by b square now let's cross multiply and isolate b we will obtain b square is equal to omega square lc or b is equal to root omega square lc i think we can leave it this way for now all right so now the next step is to plug in the values of L, C and Omega. The question gives us the values. I'll note it down here. Let's see. What are the values given to us? We have angular frequency Omega is 5000 radians per second. And the capacitance is 10 microfarad. The inductance is 1 milli Henry. Okay, got it. So here, C equals 10 microfarad. L equals 1 milli Henry. R is given as 2.5 ohm. And omega is equal to 5000 radians per second. Z in is also given as 2.5 ohms, according to the question. So these are the given values. We have found the expression for B as root of omega square LC. Let's substitute 5000 square into 1 into 10 power minus 3 into 10 into 10 power minus 6. Omega LC. Now, if we solve this, what do we get? We should get root 0.25 and the square root of 0.25 is 0.5. So the value of B is 0.5. That's our first value. Now that we have the value of B, let's move on to find the value of A. Okay, so the question says that Z in is resistive. Now, if we look at the equation that, I mean, the figure that we have drawn here, let's shift, let's shift R by A square from the secondary to the primary to complete the equivalent circuit. Okay, let's do that now. Now we are going to shift R by A square from secondary side to the primary side. Look at the figure. Now you know the ratio quite well. The ratio is supposed to be R divided by K square. Now here we have R by A square. The ratio is 1 is to B. So what does that give us? 
that gives us r divided by a square b square okay if you if you need more clarification i can write it down here so that's r by a square divided by k square k square is b square here that's what we have now i'll put that down here so r by a square from the secondary side when shifted to the primary side it becomes r by a square divided by b square which is r by a square b square now this is equal to z in because it is resistive z in is equal to r by a square b square so let's substitute the values of z in r and b solve it to find the value of a i hope this is clear so far all right the expression is z in is equal to r by a square b square let's substitute 2.5 is equal to 2.5 divided by a square into 0.5 square r is 2.5 z in is also 2.5 now what would a square become a square would be 1 by 0.5 square right 2.5 2.5 cancels out now solving this further a is equal to 1 by 0.5 which equals to 2 so a equals 2 these are the final values a equals 2 and b equals 0.5 this is the final answer now let's see which option it matches it matches option b so this is the entire solution thank you for watching this video for future videos please click here to subscribe youtube channel visit our site thesis123.com for free student project or research ideas and online training Follow us Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest.